Well, there's something about this joint that just ain't right. Sure, that's it. No pictures on the wall. Right there. <laughs> Neatness counts, I always say. Ah, a little interior desecrating is all the joint needed. Now, there's a nasty crack if I ever heard one. No, no, no! It's a veritable earthquake. I better get out of here. Wow, well, that was close. That house of mine is about to come crashing down any second. Then what's to become of me? Well, he, shorty, that fink, sits there counting his money in his fancy house. I'm left with no invisible means of support. I might even be reduced to making a living by low, sneaky, cheating ways. Low, sneaky, cheating ways. That's it. Now hang on just a little while longer, old house. Shorty old pal, would you do me the honor of joining me for dinner at my place? Gosh, Swifty, that's real nice of you. When is it? Say, like, right now? Well, gosh, I was right in the middle of counting my money. <laughs> now you made me lose count. Was it 1,900,000 or 9,100,000? Let's not quibble over mere trifles, old pal. I won't take no for an answer. Happy <laughs> move, dear friend. Hey, uh, Swifty, how come your house is uh, vibrating like that? Oh, it's uh, probably trembling with the excitement of your visit, so to speak. Now, in you go. Three, two, one, zero. Clumsy, now look what you have done to my house. Gee, Swifty, I'm sorry. Sorry? Is that all you can say? My house, my precious antiques, my entire wardrobe, ruined by uh. one careless act. And all he can say is, I'm sorry. Gee whiz. Gee whiz, he says. <laughs> Add an insult to injury. Don't touch me. Golly, Swifty, I'd like to make it up to you. No, no, I'll get along somehow. Please, Swifty, at least let me build you a new house. Do you really mean that, old friend? Honest. Well, okay, but only because I'm a sweet guy. And to show you there's no hard feelings, I have spared you the expense of working up the construction plans. Wow, you're a real pal. Hey, these are plans for a castle. A man's home is his castle, you know. But... Uh, well, if you're going to get chintzy about it, let's forget the whole thing. Don't get mad, Swifty. I'll build it. A promise is a promise. That's better. To show you I don't hold a grudge, I shall stay at your house until mine is completed. What's for dinner? What I let myself in for? <laughs> there must have been something I didn't eat. <laughs> Three months already I've been waiting on that mooch of hand and foot, not to mention mouth. Yes? Yes? Wonderful! Swifty, your house is finished. You can go home now. Never holler at me while I'm having my meals. You want to upset my stomach? Uh, what do you think of it, Swifty? Well, frankly, I had something else in mind for the turrets, but uh, nowadays, what can one expect? Here's the stuff you ordered, Mac. Pay the man, Shorty. Uh, what is it? I took the liberty of ordering myself a new wardrobe to replace the one you so carelessly destroyed. <laughs> Where do we put this, Mac? You may take it inside. Now, hold on there, Swifty. Henceforth, you will address me as your Royal Highness. And now, if you'll excuse me, it's been a very trying day. Hey, just a second, your Royal Highness. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a pushy commoner. Yes. Be gone, social climber. Now, while I hang around and wait for foreign aid, I'll have my royal lunch. I'm royally famished. Empty! 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 I've been tricked, deceived. That shrimp will have to give me some food. I'll levy a tie. Yes? My Royal Highness gives you the privilege of contributing to the Royal Larder. Care packets for your king, you might say. Gladly, Your Highness, for cash. If you wish to be difficult, I'm prepared to pay you three dollars fresh from the Royal Treasury. I would like a leg of lamb. A three dollar bill, how nice. Well, I'm fresh out of leg of lamb, but for a three dollar bill, I have some leg of wham. All right, but be quick about it. Medium rare. One leg of wham coming up. One leg of wham, hurry back. The crown lies heavy on royal heads. He's frying a steak under my very nose. Steak. <laughs> Hello, 
there. Would you help out a needy king with a contribution of one steak, medium rare, with onions? I gave already. Hello there, I'm your new neighbor. I have come to borrow a cup of steak. Goodness me, I forgot to dump the garbage. Please, shorty old pal, I ask you not as a king, but as a fellow human being. Just a tiny morsel of food. I'll do anything you say. Anything? Anything! Anything! You got a deal. And when you finish fanning me, you may peel me a grape. Okay. Okay what? Okay, your royal highness. Fascist imperialist. Now, comrade! Later, pal, later. I told you to wait in the cellar.